Good morning, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left off last time, we had arrived at the Druid Circle area and, uh, you know, saved a tiefling child from being murdered horrifically. These are the important things in life. I'm going to try and steal this. I don't think anyone's in line of sight to watch us steal this, so we've stolen a random bone. Oh, that guy came into range. Alright. Who are you? Why are you up here in my stealing area? How am I supposed to perform grand theft? There's also, I thought, like a hidden chest somewhere. Yeah, over here. That's right. Kaga's chest is over there. We should be able to lockpick it. I don't know if that guy can see us from where he is. It's not red though, so it doesn't count as stealing, I guess. Uh, we'll use Asterion. Quick save. We only have like five thieves tools, so if we break them all, we have to go buy some more, and I just can't be bothered to do that right now. Uh, the Shadow Druid's Doctrine, Half Chore Note, and a Bloodstone. If we look at the half-torn note there, it reads, The marks crisscrossing the page don't look scribed as so much as slashed. Kaga, swamp docks, tree, meet me, alone, Oladan. And that gives us some updates for one of our quests anyways. Time to go. This chest is apparently also not a thief thing. Apparently it is perfectly acceptable to loot that chest. And we're gonna go talk to Nettie here. Nettie did a number on you, didn't is it? the apprentice. I see you. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Healing. I hope you're good enough to cure what ails me. Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A it's bit not sure, tired, taking hit point damage. Maybe. But we're all a bit tired. No a good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. That's... A serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. You need to be quick. This way. She's lying. Head on in. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. I see. Give me your arm, please. What's that? A cure. Now your arm, please. You don't have time for games. I'm gonna pull back. You came to me for help. Do you want it or not? I don't want it. This was a mistake. No. I can't let you leave. You could transform any second. This is the last time I'll ask. Please. You're not asking. This is a threat. To hell's with it. Uh... Don't be a fool. I'd kill you before you could blink. Eleven's a pretty high roll. Nope. She doesn't hesitate. Moving quickly. 
Before you realise what's happening, you feel a burning scratch on your hand. There. It's done. I'm truly, truly sorry. For what it's worth, the poison is painless. It'll be like going to sleep. Give me the antidote now. I can't rescue Tony. You'd kill us all. Give me the goddamn antidote. I won't. I can't. Let's try to intimidate again. Actually, yeah, let's intimidate again. God, our checks are so high. Well, that didn't work either. I understand you're angry. I really do. But I won't let you endanger these people. The poison may kill me, but not before I destroy this grove. Let's try that one. Seven's a bit better. All right. Master Hudson there we did go. say the drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. But first, this is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. You're absolutely right. I'll, uh, I'll sell it. All right, hand it over. Swear it. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here, and here's the antidote. Do not mix those two up. I know you're not changing yet, and I've no idea why not. But we have to assume it's only a matter of time. You well, must understand, understand that. you are in grave danger. You have to find Master Hals. He might be your only chance. Did you kill the drow because he was going to turn? Oh, no. He would have slipped me navel to nape if Master Halson hadn't put him down. The drow was leading a gang of goblins. Not a common pairing. They attacked us. We had to defend ourselves. It's only after we saw the tadpole crawling out of his head that Master Halson realized how serious things were. Do you know where he is? Ask the adventurers that abandoned him. They're the only ones who know what really happened out there. All I know is they went to the old temple of Saluna, and he didn't make it back. What makes you so sure that Halson can help me? Master Halson's a renowned healer. He studied the drow's tadpole for days and concluded he needed to find the source of the infection to understand its nature. We can only hope he succeeded in his mission. Otherwise, that vial's your only option. Okay, Remember thanks. what I said. Remember your oath. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Alright, let's uh, drink the elixir. Wait, that's the right one, right? Yes. We are cured, got 100 experience for it. Nicely done. She actually believed you'd take the poison. <laughs> People will believe anything that makes him feel better. Well said. Let's drop that vial down the next well we find. And with that merry song in our hearts, let's go find this Halson fellow. And you? I can't believe she poisoned you. Tried to put you down like a dying dog without so much as a whisper of consent. The only dead dog would have been her if she hadn't given in. A taste of her own medicine is what she deserves. How dare she snuff out life with as much thought as snuffing out a bloody candle. You alright, Gail? Yes. Yes, I am. It's just that... Had it been me... Had it been... But you handled it. You handled it well. As for myself, I could quite do with a tumbler full of water-deep whiskey. Anyway, we live for the moment. How about we go find that chap Halsin, little Miss Poison Ivy mentioned. With a bit of luck, he has the means to offer us a cure rather than a coffin. That would be nice. Cures are always good. Let's get the Drow's body. We can't loot anything, unfortunately. I think she's already left the area, so we can actually use these things. But we're missing one. There's an empty socket there. And there's a place you can get the wolf one. There's a quest associated with it, I believe. We should probably talk to uh, Wrath about it anyways, but... 
You can also steal the mark as well. You did well to speak up for the girl. That <laughs> snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That Kaga seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. So stop her. How did Kaga take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Holson's absence. With him caught or dead by goblins, none may gainsay her. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. If no one's looking for Halston, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halston return home. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Hulsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come All right. Here. So, if we wander over this, we need a Starion to start with. And he needs to be by himself. Um, so who's seeing us currently? Looks like... I wish I would just stay up and show you which ones they are. So we can stealth down here. It's not super helpful though. Because there's no way we're getting in range. Before being caught. Unless they fail their perception checks, which Ridiculous. they definitely didn't. So this one's off. looking at us. She's Let's a child. Can't. A devil child! What what will the distract want him. next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Okay, we can't do anything about him at the moment. He needs to move. And we know he does because he goes to that other room. Alright, I'm going to pause right now for a couple seconds until he moves and then we'll show you guys how to get the sigil. Alright, he has finally moved off and we can actually do this thing now. So let's free Asteria and he's going to come over here. And we're going to try and pickpocket him. Your goal is to get, not the pork shoulder, to get the uh, sigil. We succeeded and we're good to go. So that's all you got to do. Wait for people to move, stealth, grab it, and hope for the best. Quick save before doing so, if you get caught, you will be in huge trouble. He has noticed that someone stole from him, but he doesn't know whom it was. Alright, let's go get ourselves some free loot. So we're just going to wander over to the Enclave Library. We can actually not close the door, apparently. It is an unclosable door. Slot, but no rune. All right, so there we go. We put all the runes in. Not sure why that's still open, but whatever. That's curious. There was a perception thing there. Regardless, this is what we want to do, is open this thing. And we're gonna head down into it. it leads to a- whoops. I'm not really sure how that happened, but okay. So if we go in here, there is a spear... ...glaive called Soro. A wicked looking knife. Why hide it here? And a druid note. The Emerald Enclave won't send help, even if I asked. The land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. And we got a, ro or a robe of summer, which is a cold resistance robe for a wizard. There's also wooden crates here. I wonder if they do anything. Other than have wyvern poison, antitoxin, and some other junk. Lots of like... Poisoning and healing. Weirdly. I 
It's not really that way for Druid Grove, but still. I don't know what this does when you turn in the quest, though. This might actually be bad in the end, but we'll see. So we do have a glaive. It's a pretty good weapon, actually. Um, I'll show it to you in a sec here. Let's turn on some lights so we can see better. Nothing really important other than that, I think. Just know where to go that way. Alright, we're out of here. There's also another door here, this uh, hidden door here as well. We might be able to lockpick our way in. Kind of curious. I can't even see a lot to pick. All right, so that's a no. Not see any levers or anything yet. There's a correspondence report. Maybe that's something important. Received message from Hag via Sirith, one of Nettie's birds. We buried Sirith last week, not sure how Hag found him. Message itself was threat, but also invitation she wants to meet. Haven't replied, buried Sirith again, beneath a heavier stone. Scroll of Ray of Frost, nothing. Nothing. Scrolls are worth selling, for sure. We can go buy some potions. How can you not reach that? You're literally standing right next to it. Alright, well, we can't reach it. No point in worrying about it now. Secret societies of the Sword Coast. They're Shadow Druids. Just gonna go ahead and loot the rest of this, and then we're out of here. Scroll of Witch Bolt, that's not bad. Armor of Agathis. A disintegrating journal. We'll grab that too. Nothing yet. Time to leave. We've done all we can. A lot of things are stealing around here still. So we're not going to worry too much about it. I'm pretty sure that the druids could kill her if they tried. She's only level 4. What's that sound? We can go talk to the parents and let them know their daughter is fine. Turn that quest in. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. You almost died. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we do without her. It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, we'll come running. No matter what. You're level one. No more light fingered antics. Actually, we're, we're thieves. Um, this could have ended badly. Keep her in line from now on. The nine hells will sooner freeze over. But we'll try. We got a cherished locket. Which gives... Dancing Lights! Dancing Lights is extremely useful for our main character. Uh, and... Yes. I'm gonna put Cherish Locket on so we can actually see in the dark sometimes. I'm gonna give Asterion the Talker of the Dead, whatever, amulet. For now. Yeah, alright. Let's go find some uh, healing potions and stuff to buy, and then we can pretty much get out of here. Who's Zeph? We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. They are doing that. Who's Rachel? Lives are at stake, and the 
cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Okay. Down we go this way. There's a quest person here, Zoru. He is actually a quest person we need to talk to. Where are... How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Well, that wasn't... We should be getting drunk at least. It's no fun waiting for death sober. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Okay. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Okay then. Apparently Zaru doesn't want to talk very much. Arka, wait, you can't just shoot her. Why not? That's what her kind did to Cannon. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arka. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Shut up, those words could be your last. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Watch what happens. Here it comes, you little beast. She didn't shoot her. <clears throat> oh, look. One of you found the stones to talk to me, rather than crying and moaning about your dead mates. It's yes. too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. They can try, but they won't be the first goblins I've killed today. <laughs> yeah? How many were there? Four? We got more than you can handle. And our priestess keeps us fighting, even if someone sticks a few holes in us. Got a whole lab set up, cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. Booyog. The goblin word for magic. Primitive to a fault, but not entirely without merit. Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. <laughs> she, she came back and then killed the goblin. That is amazing. I didn't expect that, honestly. That is funny. <laughs> she, like, left, let us have a conversation, then came back and killed her. I didn't take these refugees for killers. Maybe I've misjudged them. That's great. They're still going to die, but at least they're willing to fight. I don't care if they fight or die, I just want to find a healer. Well said. Shall we get on then? A solid hits. All right. How did I get hurt? More importantly, what am I hurt by? Oh, I'm fine now, I guess. She didn't have anything on her body. That is just too funny, though. Uh, there's nothing of value over there. We don't need to waste a lockpick opening that. There is, however, something over this way. I believe if we go up here, there's a back way into this house. So, let's go here. Not pinned down, that's not the attack I want. Where's my jump button? Have I lost my jump buttons? Oh no, it's over here. Duh. I'm just having a morning, apparently. There's also a door here. There is a guardian statue up there. Right, this place uh, attacks us if we come through here this way. This is actually kind of an annoying area, so we're gonna leave and come back later. 
But we do need to go through that way eventually. We're also gonna come up this way. This guardian statue doesn't kill us. But there's a pouch back here that has gold and onyx in it. And there's a house. But the question is, can we get to the house? We can. And jump in there. All right. It's kind of hard to see in here, so we're gonna just carefully loot everything. Although it doesn't look like there's anything to loot. I'll take the ledger because it's really the only thing of value. Supply log is scrawled and underlined on the inside cover. The dirt-stained pages that follow track the storage and use of food and medical supplies. A flurry of entries near the end suggests the reserves are nearly depleted. You don't say. Being as we haven't found a single thing in all these chests. Leave. So do your face try to read our emotions. The ten. We got fifty fifty. We failed abysmally. You got something to say? Don't worry, I'm here to help. Do we have decent persuasion skill? Not bad. Damn it. Was inventory today. I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Need to hand up. <sighs> I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a falls. Bloody potion. Where'd you get this potion? From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Well, that's good, isn't she it? also warned of side effects. <sighs> Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. Crate guarding is serious business. <laughs> Deadly serious. Still, the sooner this wears off, the better. And she's got six hit points left. Well, really, we don't have to worry about this place. There's nothing in here of value. I wonder if we can lockpick this to get out. I'm gonna save first. Guards! Guards! Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. So let's quick save this up. Or quick load this up, I should say. Don't want to get into a fight with the tieflings. Unfortunately, there's no other way out. I guess we can jump back up onto the roof, probably. Hopefully? There really wasn't anything of value in here, so... It's not like it was super important or anything. Come on, loading screen. Let's go. Alright, let's get back out of here. So, we need to jump... Not you. I wonder if I can get all of my characters stuck by accident. I'm sure they can figure it out. There they go, they're going. I wonder if all of them will follow. I'm kind of curious about that. I guess in the next video we can go do this little cave area. This place kind of sucks. And actually I think we can search zone transition and everyone will come along rather than waiting. So we have to destroy this statue. It is a painfully long experience. But we can just literally shoot it forever like this.
and eventually it'll die. But this is something we'll deal with next time. We'll finish killing it off. There are some goblins, I believe, to fight in that hallway somewhere, but we'll figure that out next time. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.